Hey everyone, first and foremost in the truest of all Canadian ways, I will start this video with an apology. As someone did suggest a best recommendation, but I wasn't prepared enough to push it out as quick as I would have liked, so I don't know what kind of window you have for those deals. Thankfully, the recommendations I focused on will stand the test of time whether you get a discount or not, but I think we can all agree that we'd rather keep more money in our pockets to buy the next greatest PC in hell, am I right? Ay. So let's not waste another second and start from least to most exciting deal in my opinion. Starting with the DualSense controller, which I hate to say there's a fair chance that it's sold out already. While this is not the most exciting thing on the list, the deals going on right now are pretty awesome for what is in many ways the best possible controller you can buy for PC. Now that'll depend also if you use your WinMax 2 sitting it down because well that's specifically when that controller will be at its best. Its Bluetooth is the most reliable I've experienced and yes, that includes Microsoft's controllers. It's also the controller that has given me the least issues in terms of compatibility and that I was quite surprised. As some of you may know, I'm currently working on the latest 8-bit Do controller review. I expected to have compatibility issues with some titles, but so have I with the Xbox Series controller. Nowhere near as much, of course, but I have, and never with Sony's. On top of that, it sports extra features which are compatible with Sony games on PC and remote play, but above all else, the Galactic Purple is absolutely amazing. I love this controller and I bought it after doing this list because the price is great, but the color is even better. I just want it. Number two. Now, that is one that I was debating putting on the list because truth be told, it's not the most pleasant thing that you will attach to your WinMax 2. However, it is extremely convenient and it has all the features I need. It's also the only item on the list that doesn't have any discounts per se, but it does have a coupon right now. It's the Viaj Kiki <laughs> M.2 NVMe adapter. So why this one? Because quite frankly, there are a few that are cheaper. Uh, for one, it's compatible with the B key and M key. So retro compatibility is, at, is a great plus in my opinion. It supports 2280, 2260, 2242, 2230, and though it doesn't show on the screen, it definitely does support it. Uh, but the number one feature, in my opinion, is that contrary to most, it doesn't have a screw. So you can easily open it with a little plastic notch. And honestly, for me, that's a feature and really the main reason as to why it's on this list. It's just super convenient. Number three is also one that could be controversial. I could totally understand why people would rather go with the SD card or micro SD card, but I hate not finding a reader or having or not having one at hand. Now, sure, the GPD WinMax 2 does have one, but what happens if I need to transfer files from another PC and I don't have a reader on me? And that happens all the time. Maybe not with the WinMax because it's just been out, but in general. And that's why I always have a USB stick with me. So sometimes it's for files as small as save games, but oftentimes it's, you know, to move game folders. And you just can't beat the convenience of a good old USB-A. The SanDisk Ultra Fit Drive supports the latest USB-A gen, but also it's super duper low profile, making it something that you could easily forget that it is connected to your device. I'm not a big fan of big, obnoxious USB sticks, nor am I a big fan of sticking my nail in a micro SD slot to push it out. I always feel like I'm about to break something and that one terabyte card is expensive, so I'd rather not. Uh, but anyways, so let's move on to the next. All right, numero quattro. Now this is by far the sickest deal on this list. The Logitech G604 mouse. Now there are smaller mice, there are lower profile mice, but this one is quite a few features that makes it stand out. Feature one, these things last forever with a single AA battery. Feature two, it connects with both a dongle, which I'd rather not stick on my WinMax 2, but also Bluetooth. Now. For a device like GPDs, it's a great feature. 
even more so for a Steam Deck that doesn't have any freaking USB-A to stick a dongle into. So feature three, it has many customizable buttons. Why is that important? Well, you could dedicate say two out of six buttons to switch TDPs on the fly. Great way to maximize your battery when playing Warzone 2 on your WinMax 2. 18 watt TDP, crank it up to 24 when you're about to have a gunfight and maximize your FPS. Some may think I'm trolling with the fifth one, but I promise I'm not. <laughs> so the WinMax 2 has a big and beautiful screen, but dang, is it ever so sensitive to fingerprints. I find its coding doesn't work as intended. Uh, maybe that's because I ate a burger and a poutine on it, but um, you know, let's just whatever. <laughs> I find myself cleaning that screen more often than not. I don't mind doing it. In fact, I kind of dig it. I mean, if I have to, I will. But if I have to, I'd rather use the best products I've ever come across. And that is whoosh. That is whoosh. That is whoosh. This little thing right there. They come with three cloths like these. They pro What they provide is honestly great. And so is the cleaning fluid. The quantity is great for the price. And I like that they include a little uh, travel bottle, which I always have with me with a cloth uh, when traveling. Yeah. Now for the sixth one, I'm kind of cheating. It's actually a combo of two different products. Now the first half comes in the form of a power brick from you green. This thing in the backpack is just a lifesaver. When you need to charge more than one device at a time, but you also need some great amount of juice for those bigger and more capable devices, this has it all. It's three USB-C's, 100 watt total, one USB-A, and you can actually, you know, stick the prongs back in when you're done. I never had been this excited about a power brick before, but ever since I bought it, it really follows me everywhere. And yes, it charged the WinMax 2 a couple of times already. Its second half though, is none other than this USB cable. This USB cable shows the wattage that you are pushing to your device. Look, let's be honest. No, it will not always be useful. But there is something so satisfying about seeing that number. Not only that, you legitimately get better at knowing which device to prioritize higher wattage. You understand from the wattage going lower that your smart device is lowering the wattage to not damage your battery. Now, from now on, you know at a glance when your device is fully charged because it shows zero. Honestly, yes, it's expensive for a single USB-C cable, but Dang, is it the best cable I've ever owned. Highly, highly recommend it. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. This is the list of things I recommend for the WinMax 2. I'm sure there are many more that could be added to the list, but there are not things I personally care about or that I think I should be recommending at this point, namely a keyboard and headphones or earbuds. There is, however, one bonus item that I decided to add to the list, and it's the one that I've used in my GPD WinMax 2 review. This active type pen from Lazarit, Lazarite, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but the reason why I added it as a bonus is because I am in no way an artist. I don't draw in particular. I do make my own thumbnails, and ever since getting that pen, I've drastically increased my efficiency versus using a mouse. So my point is, there are probably better deals out there. I mean, there's probably better pens as well. I'm no expert. I just know that I use that one, and I'm really happy with it. It has nice heft. It's super responsive, and I like that it has a clip. And so there you have it. I hope these suggestions were helpful to you guys. Of course, in the event that you would be interested in buying any of those suggestions, I have provided links in the bio. Full disclaimer, these links are affiliated at no extra cost to the buyer, but they do provide a small commission if you do decide to buy using these links. Whether any of you buy or not, I am already in your depths for sharing your time with me and indulging in my videos. So please don't forget to leave a like or dislike on your way out. And for more videos about tech and gaming, a sub with the bell would be the greatest gift of all. Cheers, see you next time.